Another story about congressional adultery, hypocrisy, and the secretive D.C. religious group known as The Family has broken late this afternoon. As we've reported, the recently disclosed extramarital affairs of both Republican Senator John Ensign and Republican South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford are linked to this group, The Family, through a house in Washington, D.C. that's called C Street. It's operated by The Family. It's described in tax records as a church, although it functions as a residence for a number of members of Congress. Congress, including Senator Ensign. Senator Ensign and Governor Sanford both reportedly disclosed their extramarital affairs to the residents of C Street months before they were forced to disclose them publicly. Although both men called on other politicians to resign because of having affairs, neither Ensign nor Sanford has moved to step down himself. Well, today, late this afternoon, the soon to be ex wife of former Republican Mississippi Congressman Chip Pickering filed an alienation of affection lawsuit against Mr. Pickering's alleged mistress. Mrs. Pickering, in other words, is suing the other woman. Here's why it's news. First, another moralizing C Street connected politician has a personal hypocrisy problem. As a congressman, Chip Pickering lived at C Street, which members call a Christian fellowship house. On his website at the time was this message to his constituents, quote, Mississippians know my leadership is grounded on our principles of faith, family, and freedom. And when in Washington, those are my guiding values. In 1998, Congressman Pickering said of President Clinton, quote, I think for the good of the country and for the good of his own family, it would be better for President Clinton to resign. When someone puts himself forward for public office, then his personal conduct does become relevant. The timing of Congressman Pickering's own alleged extramarital dalliance is still unclear, but he and his wife filed for divorce in June of last year. Congressman Pickering left Congress in January of this year in order to become a lobbyist for the firm that represents Cellular South. That's a telecom company owned by the family of his alleged mistress, a woman named Elizabeth Creekmore Bird. Mrs. Pickering also makes allegations in her lawsuit about C Street itself. Point four of her complaint against the other woman alleges that, quote, some of the wrongful conduct on the part of Creekmore Bird occurred and accrued in the first judicial district of Hines County, Mississippi, as well as Washington, D.C., at the C Street complex. By wrongful conduct, the lawsuit is presumably not talking about cheating at Pinnacle. And it allegedly happened at C Street, as in, in the building, the church. We reached Mr. Pickering's office early this evening seeking comment. We were politely told that he was out. Phone calls to his alleged mistress went immediately to a full voice mailbox. Now, personal hypocrisy by politicians who campaigned for office on the basis of their own purportedly superior morality, who called for resignations over the marital sins of others, even as they stayed in office during their own, that sort of hypocrisy is newsworthy on its own terms. But in this case, it ties into what's turning out to be this political story of the summer. It ties into and further fleshes out the picture of this secretive religious group. This, th th that's tied overtly to two political sex scandals and allegedly to another, a group that literally provided facilities in which members of Congress could be counted on to keep their affairs out of the public eye.